Hello YouTube, it's Eric with again, back with another video from the home studio. And I know it's been a while, but now we are here to talk about something new and pretty cool. The fact that Akai has now dropped the MPC stems functionality for the standalone versions of the MPCs. Which means I can now access the MPC stems functionality without using this one in controller mode and running the software on the computer. As you can see here, the USB connection is not connected and over here create stems in standard on mode. That's cool. It really is. But what's also a little bit disappointing here is that the quality we're getting with the stem separation on the standalone versions of the MPC isn't the same as the one we find on the MPC software for the computer. It's the same kind of functionality, but it's not running on the same algorithm, so the quality is not going to be the same. And I guess that makes a lot of sense when you think about it, because it all comes down to the processing power of the device itself. And this one, the MPC Key 37, or any other MPC for that matter, can't really keep up with something like the M1 MacBook Pro that I'm using for my entire studio. That's just not realistic. So yeah, maybe a little bit disappointing, but we all need to be a little bit realistic and, you know, reasonable about what we're asking for. We are now getting stem separation on the standalone versions of the MPCs. That's cool enough as it is. So in this case, it might be a good idea to just take a small chunk of audio and create stems out of that and just focus on one part at a time instead of taking a full song and extract stems out of that. That could work. Sure, but it takes a lot of time and the memory on the MPC itself might become full. In this case, I actually have the sample that's six minutes long and I took the time to extract the stems out of it. And I don't have a beat running or anything like that. It's just a single sample and the stems out of that. And we are now at, yeah, 85% memory usage with just a sample and the stems. So, you know, Maybe don't use it like that. Don't take a full six minute track and create stems out of the entire thing because it eats up the memory. That's just what it is. So the standalone version of MPC stems works on a different lighter algorithm that isn't as powerful as the one found on the desktop software. That's just what it is. It doesn't sound as clean. It doesn't sound as good. It's not as precise, but it's still usable, at least for some samples in smaller chunks. That's for sure. Now let's play a few examples of this and see the difference that we're getting from the standalone version of it compared to the desktop version. I have a sample in here somewhere. That's the one. Okay, and the bass line. Maybe the drums. The other. And the vocals. So that's way better than nothing, way better than not having stem separation at all. But compared to what we're getting on the MPC desktop software, it's just not the same. Let's listen to that too. Now I'm using the MP as my audio interface over USB just because, but we're running the software on the computer over here. So the same sample, right? And the first track is the bass. All right, and also the drums. And other. Mm -hmm. 
still some vocals and some choirs and stuff in there, but these are the vocals. But you know, stem separation like this is what it is these days. It's never going to be perfect for everything and always, no matter what type of algorithm or processing power you're putting behind it. But in this case, I feel like the version we're getting on the MPC software for the computer is way better, cleaner and stronger than the one we're getting on the standalone versions. That's just my feeling. And this is just one example, right? So let's make another one real quick. Let's take this shorter sample right here. Tell me how much is too much. Okay, let's take that one and extract the stems on the software first. Create stems and timer. Boom. About eight, 19 seconds. Cool. And the bass. And the drums. Other. And vocals. And tell me how much is too much. Okay, so the same thing now in standalone. Create stems and the timer. Okay, 46, 47 seconds, something like that. So it's not the end of the world, but it's longer than what it is on the computer. That's a fact. Tell me how much so the same sample and then bass. Okay, and the drums. So some of the hits are better than others, but it kind of struggles with the reverb on the snare. It's not unusable though. Now for the other. It would need a little bit of processing, but still. Vocals. Tell me how much is too much. So it's a bit spotty, but you know, it's stem separation on standalone. So I hope we can all agree that there is an obvious difference between the two different versions of MPC stems, right? Not saying that the one that comes with the standalone version is unusable, because I really don't think it is. I actually think I'm gonna use that one more than the one on the software myself. But of course, that's just me being unnecessarily stubborn with my way of working. But yeah. It's finally here. It's finally available for the standalone versions of the NPCs. I just wanted to make sure to show you guys the actual difference between the two. Now, if you already have the NPC stems functionality and you bought it for 10 bucks when it first launched a few months ago, it's now available for the standalone version too, on the same license. So one purchase equals two activations, one for the computer and one for a piece of hardware. Just make sure your NPC is updated and then move into menu, preferences, activations, and there you go. Activate, download, and it should work just like that. 
So I guess that's it for this video, right? The MPC stems functionality is now available for the standalone versions of the MPCs. That's really cool. It's not as fast, it's not as powerful, it's not as great, but it's still really cool. So thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one too. Until then, ha det Accurate beats.